All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the start of a new series. And the first thing you're probably wondering, uh, what, with what you see here, is where are all the mods? Uh, clearly, this is Zoo Tycoon 2, but where have the mods gone? Well, the mods are gone. Um, at least for this series, um, I'm going to be doing a completely unmodded, regular version of Zoo Tycoon 2 uh, for this series. And it's something I've been meaning to do for a while. I've actually gotten quite a few requests for it. I just haven't gotten around to doing it, but that's going to change right now. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So it's going to be a challenge zoo. We're going to do the large city map. And we're going to do 50,000. I don't think I'm going to change that. I think that's fine as it is. I don't want it to be too easy. I don't want it to be too challenging either. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the game or into the map and I'll see you then. All right, so here we are, and we get our first challenge. The local mayor has issued a challenge to your new zoo. If you can acquire a single dromedary camel during the next month, the city will award you a cash can of $750. That is very easy, so we're going to accept that. Um, okay, got that. And let's see what we can do here. I haven't played Unmodded Zoo Tycoon 2 in a very long time. Take a look at this map. I want to know, is it flat? It appears to be flat, which is going to make things much easier for us. A lot of these base game maps are not flat at all, or all kinds of hills and and such. But oh wait, there's a little bit of a hill over there, and I think that's it. So we're going to go ahead and flatten that out. One thing about this game is just a lot easier when you have everything flat. Oh, this is going to... This is going to be the annoying part. Ugh. The tools. They're only going to be the regular size. I can't make them larger or smaller than normal. That's going to be really annoying to work with, but... It is what it is. I got to do uh, it as I said I would. No mods, so... I'm also going to get rid of all this ugliness right here. Don't need it. Um, this will give us some money as well. But yeah, I don't have a single mod. At least I shouldn't have a single mod. I'm pretty sure I've removed every single one. Um, there was a few that I considered keeping, like the biome and space hack. Which, for those of you who don't know, uh, what that does is it makes it so any animal is okay in any biome, in any size exhibit. They won't, it won't be bothered. They won't freak out about it. Um, but I took that out as well. So it's just completely regular. Zoo Tycoon 2. No mods whatsoever. Except for the cursor. I still have the uh, Radical Remake cursor rather than the uh, the regular one. Because I like that better. But that doesn't change the game anyway, so I didn't mind keeping that. Um, now we're going to pause this. We're going to check out what animals we have. Do we have the Jerome Dairy Camel? We do not. So I'm going to. I don't know if I'm going to. I think I'm going to avoid extinct animals if possible. So we're going to decline. Oh, there we go. There's the Jerome Dairy. I want to unpause this. So we better, we're going to do the camel first. But I also should set up some of the basic things that the guests are going to need. Um, which path do I want to use? Do I want to use sand or do I want to use concrete? Or not concrete, asphalt. I don't want to use that. Yeah, we'll just go with the basic um, concrete. Alright, again, asphalt path. Um, so I'll just go up a little ways. Um, I don't want to get too crazy here, but I do want to at least make an effort to make things look okay. Because I want to show that <clears throat> even though I do normally use a ton of mods. You actually can make uh, impressive things in this game without the use of mods. It's m certainly possible. So let's go ahead and get some fences. I know we're not going to have a ton of fences to work with. Um, what do I like? There's really no good decorative fences, unfortunately. So I'm going to make sort of a plaza area here. 
don't want it too big. Is that the right size? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, it is. Okay. Now let's see what we're going to do here. Um, food. We gotta make sure we get that camel right away. Because how long do we have for that? Um, oh, within a one month period. Wow, okay, I gotta get on that right away. Let's go ahead and pause the game. I thought I had, I thought it said six months for some reason. So let's go ahead and get that camel first. Do I wanna go with chain link or do I wanna go with this? I'm not crazy about either one, but I think I'll go with the chain link. Uh, I think I'll put that sort of in this corner. Um, yeah, like that. Then let's actually get the camel, get everything it's going to need. I'm not going to get any zookeepers right away because it's easier just to do that stuff by myself. Ah, look at the terrible looking biomes. Just kidding, they're not that bad. At least this one isn't. Um, so the tree in the corner, tree up front, and then one tree over here. So this the desert grass. We might scatter some of that around. Let's see what we have. We're gonna want to research that. But let's just get the camel in here first. I think I'm gonna go with this for a shelter. it like that. Eh, actually I don't want we'll go like that. Go with that instead. And I want to put their food. We'll put it sort of up here by the front. A couple there. And a couple over there. And then for water, I think I'm just gonna give them a little puddle right there in the middle. Oh, I can put rocks in here. Good. Um, put a couple more of these around. Don't want to go crazy. Uh, do I even want to put the grass? I think I do. Some patches of it. And that's fine, just a little bit around the trees. Maybe we'll go like this. Put one more tree. And I think that's okay. Anything else? Probably not. Toys, yeah, we gotta do that. But let's actually just put the camel in there. So this is a female and a male. Okay, and pause it. Well done, you acquired the drone door camel. Okay, so I get the 750. So that's awesome. I'm gonna research that. And I want to. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. What does it make sense for there to be sand? Maybe a little bit over here. and then we'll give them a scratching post. Go right there. Okay, I think that's probably all right. It's a little bit, that's what grass poking do. Um, it's not an attractive exhibit. And I wonder if actually, can they, 
No, that can't use the low fences for them. I was going to say, I was going to put some low fences up front, but I can't do that. In fact, I don't really want that there. I want to put that down there. And I'm going to want a path going over there, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. Are we going to get guests in now? Well, you guys can name the zoo as well. I don't know what we're going to call it, but we're going to go down to a low price. I want to get a lot of people in here, and we are going to have it open. So they should start coming sooner rather than later. I want to decorate this into maybe a little pond or island area, something nice looking, but I don't have the, I'm not going to use too much money on that right now. Sort of just put that there for future um, reference. Sorry, I remember to do that. Right now we're going to get some things for the guests to use. I think I'm going to bathroom. I'm just going to put one right up front there. Um, we'll put one on either side actually. ATMs. Where do I want to put these ATMs? Uh, we'll put them up here, probably. I think I'm going to put food on either side here. Watch we'll us do. I'll put some of these. We'll be like one, two. Is this too crowded? I wonder. I wonder if they'll be able to use all these. That might be too crowded. I'm gonna get rid of the ones on the outsides. Yeah, so I can put food. Go with like. I don't know why I'm making this so symmetrical. It's really kind of unnecessary. Um, put some pretzel cards. Probably just because it's going to look ugly regardless right now. I can't do a whole lot with it. And then, oh yeah, we should put some garbage cans. What's a good place for garbage cans? Probably just on the corners. Probably, probably makes sense. Um, I'm gonna put some benches, but not right there. Okay, we'll do that, and we'll put the benches over here. One, two, three. And donation box. Is this the regular one? Yes, it is. Probably put these. Oh, a new challenge. Okay, the National Zoo Association is running a contest among all member zoos and will award all participants with a $5,000 grant. They requested two pictures of a rare zoo event. Specifically, they are looking for a photo of any animal baby with its mother, and any animal making use of an enrichment object. It doesn't seem like I have like, a time limit, so this should actually be quite easy. Basically, I just need to. I think I'll put those. Do I want that there? Now I'll do like that, and then that. So basically, all I need to do is I need to wait for one of these to use um, the scratching post, and I need to wait for her to get pregnant and have a baby, so we can get a picture of that. Um, also, we can name these animals too if you guys want me to do that. Just let me know in the uh, in the comment section, and I will totally do that. I'm also going to extend this path like that, and then I'm gonna do the same on this side. I don't know where that's gonna go yet, but just sort of planning ahead. Good, we're getting some of our first guests in there. That is a good sign. I don't know how many will actually make the trek up here, but hopefully they do that. We can then sort of entice them to do so by putting another exhibit up here. That's always an option. Okay. 
What else can we do? I guess I should... Hmm, I don't think I need to build anything else right now. We can look at what animals we have. Okay, Dodo, go away. Don't want you. Raptor, go away. I would like to do the American Bison. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that is my favorite animal. Um, caribou. African Buffalo. We could try to divide this up into um, sections. You know, do uh Wait, is he going to use that scratching post? Like we could do this a desert zone and then do a, uh, a jungle zone and so on and everything, but don't know if I'm going to do that yet. Hopefully one of you guys will go use the scratching post so I can get a picture of that. What are you doing? Being groomed, okay. Um, I could do something like that, but I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. So. What we'll do instead, I don't think I want to do the beluga because that'd be kind of expensive. You can go away. Ooh, Thompson's gazelle is very easy to do. That's an option. Maybe do the African buffalo. Peafowl. Peafowl are pretty easy to do. But they also like tend to breed like crazy. Maybe I don't want to do that yet. Yeah, let's not go with the, the P file yet. Let's just sort of. Nobody's even going over here yet. They're all just concentrated over by the, the zoo or by, by the exhibit. Let's see what some of these people's favorite animals. Are. Okay, so African buffalo, bongo, beluga, lion. You tend to see a lot of lion. Why are you mad? What's your problem? Let's see on bench. I don't, know. I don't know why it said you were mad. They can see through here, right? I think they can see through these fences, right? I hope they can. Wait, there's a way I can check. I think that means they can see it. I think it would have to be. Yeah, it says viewing animals, so yeah, they can see them. Alright, what is your favorite? Lion, lion, lion. I don't think I can get lions yet. I think they are they need another star, a full star. Um, let's see if I can. Let's get rid of the caribou. Get rid of the moose. Moose would be fun. Uh, get rid of the blue because then I'm not going to do that. Manta ray, okay. We'll see if that comes up. If that if the lion does come up as an option, I'll probably do that. But right now, though, I don't see that um, happening. I think all I'll do is I'll actually just delete all these over here. Get some extra money. Maybe I'll try and fill in this gap here. I would like a different fence, though. Do you curve? You don't curve. Do you curve? I want curvy fences. I want one that's gonna make actually fit this curve here. I don't think any of these do though. Um, you're just ugly. I don't want to use you. Do you curve? No. You. I can't use you anyways. I don't think any of these curve. I want to wait till I get a path that'll curve, and then I'll fill that in. So, let's go down here and clean up again. I realize I haven't been paying attention. One of them might have used a scratching post, but I wasn't really looking. But let's go ahead and make sure we got this all clean. Get all that camel poop out of here. Nobody likes camel poop. Although, honestly, I'm not partial to any poop. Standing, okay. Alright, so let's start outlining what our other exhibit's going to be and where. Probably right here. Give some people a reason to come out this way. And what oh, animal? Something that's very friendly, not something I have to worry about. Maybe gazelle. 
Heavy peacock. Um, moose. Yeah, let's we'll go peacock. You know what? What the heck? Peafowl. Um. So we'll go with something like that. Like that. These exhibits are obviously going to be very plain and simple for now until I have the option to uh, get some better stuff, better fences, better, uh, op more options and all that. Probably can only fit like three trees in here. No plants, no rocks, no shelters. Guess we could give them that. I don't know how I, I like the way that looks here. Um, so we could do a little bit of water over there. We could actually go with the food dishes. But not bananas, that looks weird. We'll go with that. That should be enough food for them. And put that in the back. Okay, so let's put one male, one female. I know I have option or way more available than that, but I I don't want to deal with them because I know they're gonna breed like crazy as it, as it is, and that's a very small exhibit. So I'll just leave it as is. I would like to spruce things up a little bit. What trees do we have? Could do something like that. What's this? Actually, I think I want this instead. I like this tree. How do I want to do this though? No, I don't like that. I know I'm wasting some money here, but this is important stuff. You gotta get it just right. <laughs> Not really. Um, is that too close to the path? Does that look weird? Better to do, I think, every other. See how that looks. Yeah, I like that. I like having these big trees. Anyway, I want to clean that up, but that'll just take me a second. Grassland, there we go. Okay. Um, go down here, clean up whatever needs to be cleaned up. Go check on the peacocks in a second as well. Anything? Are you going to go use that or are you going to go eat? You're going to poop. Good for you. What about you? What are you doing? Forming mating call. Okay, that's. You guys, I'll leave you to it. Let's go check out this exhibit. Um, clean those. Fill those. You haven't eaten yet? Okay. Alright, so I think everything's looking pretty okie dokie, so I think we're going to call this the end of the episode here, the end of the first episode of this new unmodded challenge zoo. Something certainly a little different from what I normally do. Um, but like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> like I said, there's been uh, several requests for it, and I'm actually pretty excited to do it because it is so different from what I have been doing. You know, it's been so long since I've played this game without mods, so I think it'll be uh, a lot of fun. And hopefully you guys think so as well. And like I said before, make sure if you do have any ideas for the name of the zoo, you can put that in the comments. Also, if you want me to name any animals, I can do that in the comments 
or just put that in the comments as well and I can do that. So let me know if you're excited for the new series. You can leave me a like and, and a comment and all that. That's uh that'd be cool. Um yeah, so thank you very much for watching everyone and I'm gonna see you all in the next one.